Let's talk today about tube placement on the chest x-ray. I thought rather than uh, make one long video on reading a chest x-ray, it would be a lot easier to do a series of videos uh, where I show individual cases. And let's talk about tube placement. Now, this white line here is the endotracheal tube. The endotracheal tube should be below rib 1, which is about right here. That would be T1, thoracic vertebrae 1. Now, the vocal cords are above that, so the tube should be well be below the tip of the tube, well below the uh, T1, and that'll ensure that it's above the vocal cords. Okay, so... Uh, and it should be higher than the carina. Now, do you see anything wrong with this particular x-ray? That's right. The tube extends into the right main stem, so much so that the left lung is not aerated, but the uh, right lung is very well aerated. So uh, this, is a, this is an example of an improperly placed endotracheal tube. So what would you do? Well, when they intubated this patient, they should have listened at the upper lobes on both sides and pulled the tube back until it was in the right place. I would imagine the marking, the tube marking at the patient's lip is probably something like 28, when it should be something like 22. So it's unusual to get an x-ray like this because someone should have noticed through their assessment that you were diminished on the left side uh, after intubation. So, good, good study. Uh, this doesn't violate HIPAA because this is on the internet. So, uh, see you next time.